week, but I finally got to see a film I've been trying to see, which is uh, I, Tanya, uh, starring Margot Robbie and Allison Janney and uh, Sebastian Stan, directed by Craig Gillespie. And also, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. I'm going to be changing up some stuff, so uh, be aware of that. I'm going to do some more Facebook Lives. Uh, well, actually, I should, yeah, more. I did one for the awards show. But anyway, I'm um, getting right into it. Uh, I, Tanya, uh, well, the synopsis of the movie was basically the rise and fall of Tanya Harding before and after the incident with Nancy Kerrigan. If anybody was around in uh, 94, the early 90s, you all have heard this story. You've all seen about it. It's become part of the American mythos. So... There you have it. So getting right into it, what did I like about this film? Well, first of all, Margot Robbie was absolutely incredible. She was fabulous as Tanya Harding. Fabulous. I just I couldn't I couldn't say enough more about what she did in that film. Um, the camera work, um, especially in the scenes of the ice skating, and then there was one scene where her husband, Jeff Galuli, there was a scene in the house. Uh, just check that out. That was pretty cool what they did with the camera work. And they really placed you in that time period. Um, was, uh, just going back in time. And Alice and Janney, what a performance as her mom. Oh my gosh, she, she stole the show. Uh, so you're going to be, if you like Alice and Janney, you're not going to be disappointed. It kind of reminded me a little bit of a, an edgier version that gorgeous it was awesome um and so so yeah it was excellent film what what didn't i like well it was a well put together film there's really not much to not take away um uh the only thing i could think of was it the the pacing of the movie did slow down after the incident and all that and it just seemed to on some extra parts that I just didn't feel like uh, um, was necessary. And the only other thing was I didn't really see the purpose of Bobby Cannavale's character as this journalist that they inserted in, 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 the, in certain parts. I just didn't think that it, I just didn't think he, that character really brought anything that any of the other characters uh, did bring. And uh, lastly, uh, one more good thing that I really liked was uh, the, I can't remember the actor's name, but he played the, the bodyguard of Tanya Harding. He was freaking fabulous. Oh, oh my god. Just had some great lines and stuff like that. Just was like, and it was eerie because they showed some clips at the, in the credits how much he looked like the guy. They did a good job in the casting in that regard. Um, this is a good movie. And uh, Music was good too. Um, I thought it was uh, it just paced the movie well. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's a really good movie. Now, is it one you need to go out to the theaters for? Probably not. You can enjoy it when it's on, on DVD or or uh, or Netflix if it ever comes to that. But I mean, it you, you, it's an enjoyable film. Really well done. Now, what to watch for in this film? One of the things that I really enjoyed was the way they broke the fourth wall and incorporated that with the narration. It was it was superb. Great coordination, great direction uh, on that. So there you have it. I, Tanya, spectacular movie. I was very pleased. So there you go. There you have it. So until next week, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. Like us on Facebook. More stuff coming. And uh, next week, we'll be hostile. All right, take care, everybody. Let's see something cool.